Happy New Year, everyone. Uh, welcome to 2022. Um, yeah, I have all these pictures that I want to show you. Uh, we had a great uh, break, and I hope everybody else did too. We were able to uh, see Evangeline and her partner. There's a oh, other, other side. There's a picture of them right there, up there. Oh, I. This is very awkward. <laughs> Evangeline and Louis came to visit. Kurt and Tendai were with us. It was so great to have a small gathering, but be able to do that, uh, you know, safely. And it was great. And this is, these are all pictures from uh, when Evangeline and Louis and I went up to my mom's for a few days. And so this that one is pre pre at the start of our walk and this is what I looked like after at the end of my walk <laughs> and it was so cold but um it's beautiful there there's uh there's uh these are the trees on, along the driveway uh these are the deer that come to visit several times a day um and, and along with you know like the birds that my mom feeds and and the barn cats and all that kind of stuff so I just wanted to share that with you and then this is this oh my gosh down here that that's my mom right there <laughs> it's awkward doing this mirror thing anyway so uh welcome to a new year and um i'm hoping that everybody is uh well rested over the holidays we are a little bit more stressed of course because omicron and none of you will be surprised that we are continuing to pause in-person worship and so um we know that everybody understands that. We're all frustrated with it. We don't want to be uh, paused. But of course, we do what is best for uh, everyone around us. And so this is the decision of the reopening team to stay paused for in-person worship um, for the time being. Uh, hopefully that will end at some point, but keep keep we'll keep you posted on all that. Um, I have a few announcements that I would like to share with you. And, um, and this, this Sunday is the baptism of Jesus. So it still continues on with our epiphany um, theme. And I'm so grateful for the three wise women for January 2nd's uh, worship service. It was awesome. Thank you to, to all of you who were involved in that. It was so great to, to watch that. And so um, some, some announcements. We, the, we are announcing a congregational meeting on January 23rd at 11 a.m. It will be via Zoom. It is in the, the link is in the, uh, in the bulletin for you. Congregational meeting is scheduled for Sunday, January 23rd at 11 a.m. via Zoom. The purpose of this meeting is to present and approve the work of the search committee, including the community profile for St. Thomas, the proposed new staffing model and associated job descriptions, and an agreement between St. Thomas United Church and Foothills United Church. Um, so lots, lots to talk about. And so write that down in your in your calendars. And uh, the Zoom link is there. It will be in the bulletin for the next few weeks, um, January twenty third at eleven o'clock. So please uh, don't hesitate. We would like your feedback on all those things that we're going to be doing. Sorry, I had to let my dogs in. It's so cold out. Um, so carrying on with the announcements, um, the annual report, uh, every, every committee that is uh, responsible for writing a report for our annual report um, needs to know that your reports are due into the office to Jane by the end of January. We usually have our annual congregational meeting sometime in March. And, um, and so the annual report has to be out uh, before that for people to be able to review and, and look at. So all of you that are responsible for or a committee or a team and have a report to put into the annual report that is due January 31st to the office. Uh, we still have some United Church calendars available, $7 each. If you wanted to come pick one up, uh, just contact the office. We are sporadically having office hours. Um, because of Omicron and the weather and all those kinds of things, please do call ahead if you want to come into the office or into the building, um, and we'll make sure that we can uh, arrange a time and day that will work for uh, both you and us in the office. Uh, this whole week I worked home from home because uh, it's cold. <laughs> quite frankly, that's the only reason why. Um, youth group is uh, continuing. So they're they're planning a movie night 
this Friday and Sunday, they're also doing something on Zoom. Um, so all the details there are in the bulletin. Uh, junior youth will be meeting virtually Friday, January 14th at 6.30 p.m. So if uh, you know of anybody who is grades four, five, and six, they are more than welcome to join junior youth. So contact us if, if they're not on the list yet. Um, the Bear Cat Clan Patrol, Karen, is uh, has a note in the bulletin just appreciating all the generous donations of, of socks, hats, gloves, and treats to help people living on the street of, streets of Calgary to keep warm. <clears throat> These donations are given out weekly by the patrol directly to the people who call the street home. This is a difficult time of year, and knowing that people care for them makes a world of difference. We are still collecting grocery store gift cards for the Bear Clan hampers. Please contact fundraising at St. Thomas United. .ca and Richard will ensure that Karen will get the gift cards. So if you have any other questions about Bear Clan, please contact Karen. Uh, Wanda says she's getting lots of orders for preserves and antipasto. Thank you so much. And shows she's busy creating more, jar, more jars of goodness each day. Uh, she can send an inventory and price list if you're interested. So that's one of our fundraisers as well. And then, of course, the gift card fundraiser continues on. For those of you who want to continue to support our church via the grocery card gift card, grocery card fundraise, gift card fundraiser. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk. Um, to, through Safeway, Sobeys, Co-op, Superstore, please contact fundraising at stthomas.ca. Um, and then there's a list uh, vet for the Veterans Association Food, Bo Food Bank. We continue, as you know, to collect for the Veterans Association Food Bank. And there are ongoing items suggested for our veterans during this Christmas and New Year's season. So uh, look at that in the bulletin. If there's anything that you can drop off at the church, um, please do so. Again, phone ahead because the church hours are kind of sporadic right now. Um, I think... I think that's all. Sorry, the garbage people are here. Um, I think that's all that I have uh, in terms of announcements. So do keep in touch via the website and via social media. And um, you can tell I'm trying to <laughs> not have them bark while we're while we're talking. But I do want to leave you with a poem that I received from Donna at Simons Valley. She is so good at having at, at finding wonderful poems. This is a poem called New Beginnings by Gertrude B. McLean. And it's a New Year's poem. So this is what I'll leave you with. It's only the beginning now, a pathway yet unknown. At times, the sound of other steps Sometimes we walk alone. The best beginnings of our lives may sometimes end in sorrow, but even in our dark, on our darkest days, the sun will shine tomorrow. So we must do our very best, whatever life may bring, and look beyond the winter chill to smell the breath of spring. Into each life will always come a time to start anew, a new beginning for each heart as fresh as morning dew. Although the cares of life are great and heads are bowed so low, the storms of life will leave behind the wonder of a rainbow. The years will never take away our chance to start anew. It's only the beginning now, so dreams can still come true. Have a great weekend and a great week, everyone. And uh, we'll see you online on Sunday uh, for our Baptism of Jesus Sunday worship service. Take care, everybody. You are seen. I see you. Let me start again. Don't forget that I see you and you are loved. Bye, everybody. Take care.